everybody, Alex Mady with JoeBlow.com here with Eric Walkuski, also JoeBlow.com. Hi everybody. Eric just got out of the Walking Dead panels and uh, what kind of cool stuff did you get to see? Well, they uh, showed us exactly who Negan kills. Awesome. They did, no, they did not. Um, they showed us a, a full-length trailer, which is online right now as we speak, um, that uh, very cleverly kind of hides, you know, because you were, I was wondering, how are they going to show a trailer? Because they're going to have to show which right. of the main characters. But they kind of start with a montage of images from the last few seasons, and then they kind of skip around that. They do show him beating somebody in the bloody Lucille bat, which is awesome. And then they show a lot of stuff of like him and his compound and uh, Dwight and those guys. And then they show us um, Morgan and Carol on their journey to uh, the kingdom, which is like a new uh, location. And they showed us King Ezekiel, who's a new main character. And Ezekiel has a uh, tiger, a pet tiger. Do we see the tiger? You, we see the tiger at awesome. the very end of the trailer. It's pretty sweet and uh, very unexpected for me as a person who doesn't read the comics. So who kind of knows the characters a little right. bit. But I was like, okay, that's that's something new. That was it a tiger like, or was it CGI? I think it was probably CG, oh, but okay. it was very convincingly done. Cool. And that character looks very cool. And we see uh, Tara very briefly, what happened to her and Heath. Um, so it's a pretty intense. Uh, it's a pretty intense trailer, and I think uh, you know the crowd went pretty nuts for it. So, and then uh, you know they introduced the uh, the panel and all the cast members, and uh, the last to come out was Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and he had Lucille with him. And nice. He did some Negan, and uh, that was very cool. So got the crowd pretty fired up. Any fun set stories or anything they shared about producing the show? What the uh, the main takeaway is that uh, you know everybody loves uh, Andrew Lincoln and Norman Reedus yep. and they've got quite the bromance going on and off the uh, show and uh, apparently they're both really big pranksters and they that. love pranking each other and uh, they tell all these stories about all these crazy things most of them involving glitter which is their uh, weapon of choice and they even showed a video of Andrew Lincoln sitting in his car with his AC on and glitter is just spraying out of the vents I mean for like a minute and he's just like torture awesome. and then on the panel Andrew Lincoln pulls out some glitter throws it in Norman Reedus' face who deflects it and it goes over both of them so for half the panel they're both covered in this gold glitter that looks like it's not going to come out anytime soon so if you see pictures of the panel that's why they are covered in gold dust basically excellent yeah and um, yeah you know just kind of the same thing I mean they all uh, they all have wonderful sets from the for, uh, stories from the sets and uh, I will speculate right now on who gets Ooh. Lucille spoiler spoiler maybe just kind of based on how they all talk, because they're all very vague and stuff. But um, Christian Ceratos, who plays uh, Rosita on the show, um, she kind of talked about the show in a way that it was almost past tense. Like, it was nice being here. She didn't say that exactly, but like, if you're kind of looking for clues, she was the one where I was like, maybe this is her last go around. That would be a shame because that I don't think would have the same impact it might if it was somebody more significant. Right, but I, I'm still of the mind they're not going to kill off Glenn or yeah. any of the main guys because it would be terrible to just open the episode with that, you know. Yeah. Uh, but that's the that's part of the the hole they put themselves in with that cliffhanger ending, which they were very kind of you know they realized how it uh, rubbed some people the wrong way, right. but they're also sticking to their guns and being like. There's a reason we did it that way, and uh, it's going to pay off when the new season begins, which is uh, October 23rd, I believe they said. And they're splitting it same way, eight episodes? Same way, eight episodes, yep. Yeah. And, uh, of course, they said this, you know, Greg Nicotero directed the first episode. Scott Gimple wrote it. Um, Greg said it was a really intense, emotional episode to direct because of the obvious reasons. And just more than just that, the whole episode is apparently very heavy-duty. And then I guess in the second episode, there's like one scene at Negan's compound, which has like 70 walkers, like all practically done. And he said that was like pretty badass too. So it looks like Negan's going to be in it quite a bit. Like, you know, based, just based on the trailer and the way they talked about it, he's like clearly one of the main characters now. That's what fans want. We want more Negan. Yeah, yeah. He looks cool too. I mean, and he just seems like he's having a blast. You yeah. Know? The cutest uh, Q&A, you know, we had the Q&A afterward, and there was a little kid, and I'll, I put the picture on uh, Joe Blow Twitter. This kid must have been five years old, and he was dressed as Negan. He awesome. had the same, he had the bat. I mean, the kid could barely talk, and he's, like, playing this psychopathic murderer, and they were all like, that's amazing, that's fantastic, I love this kid. 
And he was like, how many zombies are you going to kill to this time? And it was just like the sweetest little question about a murderer uh, oh, you've yeah. ever heard. But it uh, looks good, man. I mean, it looks like they're keeping it dark, like very dark, very heavy duty. And, uh, you know, I'm, I can't wait. It's too too long away now, it seems like. Yeah, anything uh, on the Fear of the Walking Dead panel, anything? Fear the Well, uh, full disclosure, I don't watch Fear the Walking Dead, so I'm just kind of, like, a little lost. But the trailer for the new uh, second part of Season 2 makes it look pretty good. I mean, the uh, it takes place mostly in Tijuana now. They're in Mexico. They're exploring new areas down there. Um, the show looks different than Walking Dead, which I yeah. think is cool. It has a different quality, and Robert Kirkman said that, you know, he enjoys the fact that it's actually a different show, and, like, you know, that was intentional. This kind of the slow pace of the first season yeah. was sort of a direct, you know, uh, comment on how different it was going to be from the first, uh, for, from Walking Dead. Um, and then, you know, I think they tried to get them to speculate on a crossover, but that this doesn't seem to be in the cards at all. Yeah, hopefully the third spinoff will be in a cold climate that we can get icy zombies. Yeah, well, I, I'll tell you what, yeah, they, they all look hot as hell. Whenever yes. you're seeing them on set, I mean, they're in Georgia, they're in Mexico during the summer each time. It does not look like a fun show to shoot. No. Like, the, the sadness and despair on their faces is very real, and that's thanks to the heat and humidity. But, uh, yeah, Fear of Walking Dead, I think, that, you know, the fans, the reaction to that show's a little subdued, and it's just kind of like the appetizer. Everybody's here for Walking Dead, you know? Um, one day I'll catch up on it, maybe. I don't know. Have you seen it? I do. I have seen you it. You like it? It's, it's not The Walking Dead, yeah. but it's got zombies, so I'll watch it. That's true. That's true. Can't argue with that. That's true. Anything else? Any uh, good tidbits to share? Uh, no, I just think, uh, you know, they every they say it's going to be darker than last season. They say that every season, but right. somehow it actually has been going that way. So they're like, this one, I mean, when you saw Rick at the end of the last episode, yep. just broken. how broken, they were like, that's nothing. Oh. <laughs> they're like, there's no, he, he hasn't even hit bottom yet. There is no bottom for him. Like, there's no amount to how low he can sink. So they make it sound like... Boy, he's gonna be acting his pants off because he's got a lot of he's gonna he's in for a world of hurt. That's pretty clear. Well, that will be entertaining for us to watch. Oh yeah, of course we love that. Cool. But uh, yeah, good stuff, man. I'm I'm looking forward to it. it the show hasn't uh, it's it's uneven, but uh, keep coming back for more. I'll be there uh, opening night or debut night. Awesome, I'll be there too. Yeah, man. Awesome. Well, stay tuned for more from JoeBlow.com at Comic Con 2016. Thanks, guys.